Over 300 years ago, the charming little island of Ceylon was captured by the Dutch, who held it until it was taken by the British in 1798, and it remains to this day as one of the crown colonies of Great Britain. At Colombo, the chief seaport of Ceylon, we are immediately interested by the extremes and vehicular traffic. Here in the main street, we see automobiles, motorcycles, rickshaws, bicycles, and ox carts, all hobnobbing with each other in perfect order. Even the kitchen stove is moved about on wheels. Here we are introduced to the water sprinkling system of Ceylon. This picturesque primitiveness is also observed in boat traffic, where the Colombo Ferry lazily plies its trade. While waiting for the ferry, some of the passengers take advantage of the municipal cigar lighter. Not far from here, we come upon a most primitive scene, a group of natives separating chaff from rice. Incidentally, rice is one of the chief products of Ceylon. Primitive methods of labor are revealed in many ways throughout this tropical island. Here we observe men and women working side by side in the construction of their roads. The tropical scenery so characteristic of Ceylon is beautifully illustrated in this typical setting. The Devil Dancers of Candy. This dance usually starts very slowly. The rhythmic beat of drums gradually works itself into a mad frenzy. We are told that the chief inspiration of the devil dancers is the thought that they are driving away evil spirits. Foremost among the animals of Ceylon are the elephants, which are of considerable value when tamed. They are used extensively for hauling heavy burdens where horses, oxen, and motor car are inadequate. Every afternoon at the same hour, these elephants stop their work in the fields and go down to the river to bathe. It is said that their sense of time is so accurate that the town clocks might be set by their habits. Water is essential to their well-being, and no animal delights more thoroughly in a bath. They are excellent swimmers, enabled by means of their trunks to breathe without difficulty when the entire body is submerged. Elephants have very poor sight. They are guided mostly by their keen senses of hearing and smell. They have the rare combination of strength, sagacity, and docility. It is also said that no animal is more appreciative of kindness or more distressed by injustice than the elephant. In fact, there are cases on record where elephants have actually died of broken hearts because of ill treatment. Consequently, their owners endeavor to treat them very kindly. Mm -hmm. 
at Mount Lavinia, a delightful resort just a few miles from Colombo, we are fascinated by the boats which are used by the native fishermen. One of the chief sports of Mount Lavinia is surf riding. These boats are taken out a short distance from shore and allowed to ride back on the rolling waves. Fishermen themselves are extremely colorful. These old fellows are chewing beetle nuts mixed with lime from burnt seashells, a common practice among the poorer classes in most countries of the Orient. The juice of the beetle nut dyes the mouth and teeth a vivid red, and the sight of it is rather appalling. About 2,500 years ago, the original inhabitants of Ceylon were overcome by Sinhalese colonists who came from India and founded a dynasty that lasted many hundreds of years. Our waiter on the terrace of the Mount Lavinia Hotel is a typical example of the original Sinhalese. His station in life is marked by the comb which encircles the crown of his head. This comb signifies that he has never carried burdens upon his head. Singalese make up about two-thirds of the native population. The foaming surf breaking upon the palm-fringed shore of the Indian Ocean gives us our final view of charming Ceylon.